All right, so I've got this desktop here. Uh, my daughter's been using it, but it's time for upgrading because it's got the 2600 in it, which runs pretty good, but it's just not quite good enough to handle some of the newer games that she uh, is streaming on uh, Twitch. So we're going to get it open. We're going to replace the CPU with a 5600X. We're going to install it, put it in. Now, I'm not doing the install because I've already done the install on 5600X. You can go back and check it out if you want. I'll put it in the uh, end of the video. Uh, but we're just going to take it out. We're going to clean it, and we're going to put it in. I'll show you bits and pieces of every, all the whole processes, and you can just watch as I go along. So let's get the case off here first, the side case, side panel. i get it right sooner or later. It's got the insulation, which does not help with temps, that's for sure. But there's not a lot we have to do. We do have to remove the uh, cooler here. Um, I've already replaced the memory, but I'll show you that as I go ahead. Um, we're going to put it down, and uh, I'll zoom in so you can see everything a little bit better. Okay, so the first few things I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the uh, graphics card and pull it out. There's a little tab on the bottom here. Push that down and this should come out pretty easy. And if it would need it, I would clean it, but this one looks pretty clean, so there's no need for that. I've already kind of dusted this a little bit. This is our memory I put in, put it in slots two and four. Brand new memory um, from T-Force. Should work pretty well. We're gonna take the fan off. Uh, we need our long screws go down here to unscrew on the inside. We'll take this off and then we'll replace the CPU and hopefully everything works. Now, something to keep in mind, before you go ahead and do with this process, you need to update your BIOS, potentially, okay? Going from a 2000 series to a 5000 series, especially on a B450 motherboard, you will need a BIOS update. So I'm gonna show you that in another video um, so that you know how to do it. It's pretty simple, it's nothing too much to it. There are a couple different methods and uh, Hopefully everything should go well. So we're going to take the fan off. It's just a matter of pushing on this little pin. Should pull out. Same thing on the other side. It's kind of hard to get at it because the case is not, not easy to work with sometimes. All right, so get that off. And I'm not even going to disconnect the fan. I don't really need to. I'm just going to set it there. It's out of the way. It's not interfering with anything here. So I just need to go get our screws. Go in, undo this, and... Uh, our new CPU in. Okay, so we've got our screw in here. There's two of them you have to undo. That's probably good there, but it's hard to tell because this is not magnetic, so that might be an issue. Yeah, oh, actually, I think it is magnetic. Okay. Anyway, it's coming out on the bottom. Yeah, no, okay, let's see, right down here. There we go. There's one, and we have one more on this side. So we're just going to get that in, get that. There we go. And I've never taken one of these off. Oh, I just felt that pop. Oh. Now, here's the tricky part. I do believe I have to... Okay, so I have to undo this screw here as well. That will release this side. And so that one I believe was here. That one's loose. So the trick when you're pulling out a CPU for an AMD, do not pull it straight up. You will pull it right out of the socket. So just kind of give it a bit of a, a little bit of a turn. And it will feel like it's not even coming off, but it will. You just have to be patient. Make sure this is completely off. I think it is. Okay, that's off. There we go. Now you can see it. And we'll have to put this back on in a minute, but we will have to reapply thermal paste. And uh, we're going to cool this, uh, clean this off as well before we put it back in. So when you clean it off, you're going to need, uh, I, I usually use 90 or, or stronger uh, isopropanol alcohol. So we're going to clean this all off, take this one out, 
and then put the other one back in there. So, okay, so we're just finishing cleaning off everything as much as we can. And we will obviously probably uh, reuse this maybe in a later build or for something else, maybe a budget build. It's always something you can reuse. It, nothing else, you can use it to uh, update other motherboards with uh, that don't have the uh, 5000 series ready. And pop that in there and update it from there. So anyway, I'm just going to take this out. Oh, I took it all the way up. If it doesn't take it all the way up, it doesn't release, by the way. So there's still a little bit of thermal paste on here, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to clean it. So if you've got the package that you had an AMD socket in before, you can always put it right back in there. That'll keep it safe. And uh, somewhere down the road, maybe I want to use for testing or something like that, or whatever, who knows what I'll use it for. But at least I've got it. It's kept safe in the package. Now we're going to get our Ryzen 5 5600X out, and we're going to put it back in. Being very careful, of course, not to uh, do anything silly when you drop it. And it can happen. So, triangles on this side, triangles down here. Line it up. Okay, just line it up. You'll, you'll, when you've got it, okay, you'll feel it go down when it's in. Once that's in, push your lever back down. Goes down underneath this little tab. That's it. So now we're going to apply our thermal paste, put our uh, CPU cooler back on, and that'll probably be the end of it. Hopefully everything goes well and we don't have any issues. And that's it. Just a short, sweet little video. And the BIOS update, how to update your Gigabyte BIOS. There's lots of them out there, but I will have one coming soon. So if you do need to check that out, I will have it for you coming very, very soon. Okay, so I prefer to use uh, Noctua's uh, NTH1 thermal paste, so hopefully I've got enough left to do this. I'm just going to put just a little... Oh, I don't have a lot left. <sighs> that might be too much. Alright. I think that's good, though. I think that's good. See? Oh, I might have to take some off. Okay, so I did take a little bit of that off and I just sat this down. Okay, it goes into the holes on the side here. Like I say, I've done the installation. I'll link it at the end so you can see the full installation. This screw tightens down, but there's one on the inside here that you have to tighten down too. So I'm going to have a quick look inside that. We're going to tighten it, tighten this one, and then we'll put our fan back on. And then it's time to turn it on and hope everything works. So it's in there good now. We'll put our fan back on. Now, the one thing I will note, this memory is a little bit taller than some other memory. So you have to make sure that these clips are going to go on without any problem. So let's get them out and hope that they will clear all right. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be all right. So you put that on right. Let's check. Okay. Uh, hang on. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, we'll start with, see that little divot? It just kind of nicely fits in there. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one back, get it in. And I'm going to go around the other side to put that one in. Um, you won't be able to see that. Just what I got to do. Okay, so I just put the spring back on this side. It's kind of hard. I have to move around, so that's why I couldn't really show that to you. But these little divots, the fan fits in there. It is nicely separated from the memory, so you can still put in uh, two more sticks if you chose to. Lots of room in the front here. Um, but we're done, basically. That's all there is to it. It's in there really, really solid. Um, so if I've done the uh, BIOS update correctly, I should be able to put everything back together now, fire it up, and hopefully everything will work. If it doesn't, well, I'll show you what happens. So let's go on to... Putting everything together, I'm just going to kind of quickly go through that and I will bring you to the startup phase. Okay, so it's uh, time to uh, check and see if anything uh, goes wrong. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I'm going to make sure the power's on, of course. That always helps. So power on. We may have to go to the BIOS first. I don't know. 
haven't done this like this before. So let's see. Now with a new CPU, it might take a couple of seconds to come up. I don't really know. You're learning as I learn, as I like to say. Okay, that's a good time. And now we'll see if it comes right up. It's booting into Windows. That's all I needed to see. Perfect. Okay, so everything went in. Uh, I updated the Gigabyte uh, BIOS first before I went from the 2600 to the 5600X. Uh, took one out, put the other one in, put the CPU cooler back on and everything is good to go so that's it so i hope you liked it hope it informed somebody of something um i always like to think somebody got something out of the video out of the video if i can talk right and uh so if you like it hit that like if you don't you know what to do hit that bell for future videos as they come up for notifications and if you're new here think about subscribing and once again thanks for watching